Cleric now joins the Vercel Marketplace, which means with a click of a button, you can install Cleric in any application on your Vercel project. So you can go to Vercel Marketplace and go to the authentication category. You can see Cleric as a new integration. You can go ahead and install this on any project that you have or use the starter application that they have down there with a one-click deploy to deploy this to Vercel. So this is going to determine where this specific project lives inside of your Vercel account. It is going to also pick the same name and create a new organization in Clerk to deploy this new application on the Clerk site. So we will see this together. Now I'm going to add Clerk as an integration. You can select a plan. We're going to start with a free clerk plan, which is going to give you 10,000 monthly active users, 100 monthly active organizations with five user per organization. You'll read about the pricing more, and then let's hit continue. This is going to create a clerk application, tie it with our Vercel Next.js project. Let's hit done and connect. Now it's going to go ahead and deploy our application. We can go ahead and visit our new website. Now, this is the Clerk Authentication Starter deployed. Going back to our Teams environment, I can go under the Integrations tab. I can see Clerk is already installed. And now this application we just created in our Clerk account, you're going to see a new organization created with the same name as your Vercel account. And then inside of it, it's this product that we just created through Vercel integration. Now, this automatically creates two different environments, development and production, as I mentioned in the beginning. Now, you have your normal dashboard and config settings through Clerk dashboard, but it also says here that this is managed by Vercel Marketplace, and you can manage it from your Vercel dashboard. And now, let's pull the project down to our local machine and continue working in our local environment. So, let's go back to overview. Let's select this application that we just created. Go to the repository. Let's go back to our terminal and git clone and we have our Next.js application already hooked up with Clerk. Let's go back to our terminal and actually run pmpmi to install all the dependencies. Now what I'm going to do is to connect this project to my Vercel project so that I can pull the environment variables. So I'll log into Vercel then I'm going to set Vercel link to link this local project to our remote project on Vercel. Now I can run Vercel env pull. This is going to pull our environment variables that's set automatically through our in integration down into our local environment. Just to show you here, now we have this .env.local. Now let's open it up. And we have the same Next.js starter application, but inside of our local machine. Let's go ahead and sign in. All right, I'm logged in, and now I have my first user inside of my Clerk dashboard. And this is how it got much easier to integrate Clerk authentication into your Next.js Vercel project.